So when you look at CD images, the standard imaging view is always the Excel view, the standard Excel view. You can see it here. This is just the, uh, these are just Excel slices of the um, heart. The problem of the heart that it's a three-dimensional structure which is not in a standard way placed in the thorax but it's angulated in two different ways. For this reason you need these cardiac reconstructions and the standard reconstructions we use in cardiac CT and also in MRI are this short axis view. You can very nicely see the left ventricle and the right ventricle. In order to differentiate between the right and left ventricle, the easiest way all the time is the left ventricle is the left the ventricle where you have a broad myocardium, a thick myocardium, and the right heart in most cases is the part of the heart where you have a very, very thin wall. In this case, you very nicely can see that the right heart is very, very large. This projection is very nice to see the movement of the right heart and also the left heart and, in, and also it's very nice to visualize especially the right coronary artery in a um, longitudinal view and the LAD in a short axis view in a, like some kind of axial visualization. The second very important view is uh, the four chamber view. You can see it very nicely here. This is a paraaxial view of your heart and you very nicely can see all the four chambers. You can see the left ventricle, the left atrium, and you also can see the right ventricle and the right atrium. And last but not least, you have a two chamber view or three chamber view. Here you very nicely can see the left atrium, the inflow in the left heart and even the outflow through the aortic valve, which you very nicely can see here. So for cardiac imaging it's very important not only to use the standard axial reconstructions of your images, you really have to use dedicated cardiac planes in order to see all the different pathologies you want to visualize.